if I just pull this across now. Look at that. Look at how clean that is. That is ISO 25600 on a Z7 Mark II. Hello everyone and welcome to my On1 No Noise AI 2023 review. So I literally just got this software last night and as you may guess I'm super excited because it absolutely blew me away how good it is. Today we're going to be comparing it to Topaz Denoise AI also too as well. Just to see which one is better and why. This photograph is shot at ISO 25600. So 25,600 on a Nikon Z7 Mark II. So if I just zoom in along a bit there now, you can see there's quite a bit of noise in that. That is very noisy. So um, the absolutely unbelievable part of it is, when I just swipe this across, look at that. <laughs> look at that. That is mind-blowing. And, and... It's not just it's not just after taking the noise away, right? If you look at the thumb wheel above here, see that thumb wheel? See that's kind of sharp enough there now. And if I just slide this across now, boom. Look at that. Look at the grip. That is absolutely fantastic. Look at the lens cap. That is not a smooth lens cap. That is a textured finish on that lens cap. And it actually kept that texture. Right, so that that's that's just that's that's mind blowing to a certain extent. And what I really love about this software, what I absolutely always loved about the non eye software, is you can move the image around and you can see the finished result. So there's no waiting for it to re render and apply edits. And even when you start adjusting, let's say uh, what you call it, it's, um, luminous luminance denoise here now, the results are nearly instantaneous. There's no waiting around. It doesn't take 20, 30 seconds every time. So. I can edit a photograph in No Noise AI, AI, get in and get out really fast. And as I say, look at the autofocus background. So we have different colors, different shapes, textures, and everything else in the background. So when I just pull this across now, oh, sorry, I went in the wrong thing. If I just pull this across now, look at that. Look at how clean that is. That is ISO 25600 on a Z7 Mark II. And we're going to go to the fishing line because this is the part I couldn't believe. Being honest, you know, I, I just genuinely couldn't could believe this. Look at the look at the original here now. When I slide this across, look at the amount of noise, color noise, luminance noise, even on the autofocus background there now. I was presuming this wasn't going to work too mightily well, so I just pulled it across. Look at that. Look at how sharp it is. Look at the edges. Look at all the detail there in the fishing line. That is absolutely criminal and then look at the background look at the background how how like, like look at the shelf here look how smooth that is and i shot this on a felt pad too as well you can see you can even see the individual hairs on the felt pad it hasn't got rid of any of them so and as i say the one thing i absolutely love about this is the fact you can just move it around so easily and look at different parts of the image and you don't actually have to wait for it to re-render. And again, as I say, the fact you can adjust controls, enhance details, all those sorts of things, you can adjust them around the place to get exactly the effect you want and those effects are going to be implied almost instantaneously. So, I said I was going to pair, compare this to Denoise AI because Denoise AI would be considered one of the, the industry standards in noise reduction as long as no noise AI. So, um... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to pop this exact same photograph over into Topaz Denoise AI, and we're going to have a look at it and see. Right, so here we are in Denoise AI, and this is version 3.7.0. So this is the latest version of Topaz Denoise AI. So exactly the same photograph. Both of these have been sent over to the applications directly as RAW files. Again, same image at ISO 25600. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to, I'm just going to mess around with each individual one here now. But if I just, I found clear, clear and Severe noise, both work fairly well, but I'm going to try raw here now and give that a couple of seconds. So it's updating on the bottom here now. This is going to take it a small bit of time. And this is one of the things that every bit of software is going to take a bit of time processing algorithms, getting everything sorted out. But look, yeah, it's finished there now. So if I slide this across, that's good enough. It's good enough, but look at that. 
Look at that noise up there in the old folks' background. Look at that wheel. That wheel is not as sharp. Look at the knicker here. That's blurred. Right? That is that is not as good. Now I can adjust recover original detail and, and wait for that to pop back in. And that's getting a small bit better. But as I improve that, this still isn't improving. That still is not as sharp. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap back to the on one no noise one and just compare the two of them there now. So this is us back in no noise AI 2023. The first thing you'll notice is there is no noise above here in the out of focus background. That wheel is razor sharp. That is razor sharp. So that is really, the enhanced detail is only up a small bit. Micro sharpening is only up a small bit. Being honest with you, I didn't go at any of those. I just imported the image in, bang, off she went, and it ended out like that. And as I say, the real beauty of it, just look at this. I can just move the image around the screen. And there is absolutely no problem whatsoever. I'm not having to pull sliders backwards and forwards or do any messing like that or wait for the image to reprocess again. I can actually see the finished results immediately as soon as I move it around. And also, as soon as I adjust any of the sliders, it's popping you up straight away again. Anyway, so um, what I wanted to say to you was, when you look at this thumb wheel above here, so we're looking at the thumb wheel now in No Noise AI 2023. And what I'm going to do is swap, swap straight back to Topaz, and that's it in Topaz. And I'll be I'm like, <laughs> sorry, now again, I moved I moved the image, so now we have to wait for it to update again, because sorry, I, I, I forget this, I don't use Topaz a lot anymore, for that simple reason, because... When you're using no-noise AI, you actually just get used to moving the image around the place. But let's say, just look at the two images. That is not sharp. That is, that's reasonably sharp. That is reasonably sharp. This is all reasonably sharp, but it doesn't look as well. Look at the noise in the background, the autofocus background here. That's, in my mind, that is not as good. That's in the raw mode. If I go to severe noise, which is the other thing I tried, I've tried all of these. I'm saving you the time here now, so just in the direct comparison between No Noise AI on one No Noise AI 2023 and Topaz the Noise AI. But look at that. Look at the colors. They, like it, it just, and look, look how out of focus that is. Now, obviously the background is, is clearer. There's no doubt about it. The autofocus background is better. That is definitely better. But that looks very blurred now. That really does look very blurred. And um, all the discoloration, everything, lens cap, it doesn't look right. And again, if I want to go over here now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over and we're going to go to the fishing line. And again, unfortunately, we have to wait because it's updating here now again and it's processing that part of the image. Um, so give it, give it 20, 30 seconds. And this is one of the things that really frustrated me about Denoise AI. It was the fact you had to wait every single time you move the image. When you're zoomed in at 100%, you're obviously going to want to look at different parts of the image. Every time you move it, you have to wait the 10, 15, 20, 30 seconds for it to reprocess and update the image again. But anyway, look, that is good. There's no doubt about it. That is good enough. But it is not sharp. So 20 seconds later, that's us in standard. And as you can see, the color noise here is really bad. There is a lot of color noise here still. The image is sharper, I will say that, but the out of, let's say, the, the out of focus noise in the background is not good enough. Again, even on that basket there, it looks horrific. So um, we're not going to pick that one. We're going to go to clear. And again, just let that run through. There we go. That's clear. So it worked faster this time because I didn't move the image. But you can see that is better. But it's not sharp. That is not sharp. And if I go to low light, again, we'll just give that a small bit of time to run through. So that is low light. And you can see that is after doing a nice job of clearing it all up along. But it is still not right. It is still not sharp. That all looks, it looks like it's fractionally out of focus or something. Even look at the fishing line. Where is all that texture? Where has the texture gone from the original one? If I go back to on one, there now again, look at all that texture rolling down through there. That is crazy. And even look, look at the tiny little scratches on the reel. Look at all those little marks and dust specks and that little dimple there and those things. Right, we're going to go back to no noise here. <laughs> or denoise AI and that's that's practically gone it that just looks really smooth and it's just not look at it in fishing work there's no you can't see the individual strands anymore they're gone so and that isn't as sharp so that's kind of close enough if I go to severe noise severe noise and clear were the two when I was playing with this early on I found worked better than all the rest of them so that is that's reasonably good there now now you might say I can I can bring up my recover original detail slider and wait for that to kick through and that is a bit better there now, right? 
that is looking that's looking closer to on one no noise ai 2023 but it's still not the same thing that is still not as sharp it's as simple as that all the lovely texture and lens and lens cap because that lens cap is a textured lens cap it is not perfectly smooth like this is showing so we're losing that small little micro detail so i'm going to go recover original detail again and whack that up full blast it's getting better it is getting better but you can see there's noise creeping in here now there's already noise starting to creep in here and I don't actually want to move it, but look, I better move it over along here. And what we're going to do is check the wood grain here and then the smooth battery too as well and the lens cap. Sorry, no, still waiting for that to come through. That is taking its own sweet time. Oh, there it is. So we have that there now. And that is looking reasonably okay there now, being honest with you. That looks kind of good enoughish. Again, we don't have any of that detail here in the lens cap. And we are also getting quite a bit of discoloration here too as well and whatnot. Um... Yeah, but it's 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 not too bad. That is not too bad. And again, the other beauty of um, On One No Noise AI 2023, it also has Tech Sharp AI built into it too as well. Now I can select Tech Sharp AI here too as well. There is absolutely no need to do it, but I can click on both and it'll sharpen the image. It's probably going to make it look absolutely horrific now. Oh, no, it's not. That's actually after making it sharper again. It's actually better again. So that's... that's I rest my case. Um, Topaz... Uh, yeah, you, you, I, I think you're, you're definitely after slipping to second position here. In, in my opinion, anyway, there's no question whatsoever about it. That, that looks, that there is no comparison. Absolutely no comparison there in all my eyes. When is On One No Noise AI 2023 going to be launching? I genuinely don't know. I've actually emailed the team back after I got my, my copy. And um, I actually don't even know if this is a beta copy. Being honest with you, right now when I'm recording this, I don't know if this is a beta copy, if this is a final release, is it going to get better? How could it get better? And, you know, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know, folks. Um, I'm going to let you know uh, as, soon as, as soon as I know when it's going to be released. And, um, yeah, I, I really look forward to it. But uh, until then, absolutely blown away. Well done on one. This is an absolutely stunning bit of software.